Hi, and welcome to my workshop. For quite a while now, I've been wanting to purchase a covered bridge that I could use over a section of track on my Whispering Creek layout back here. And I've been looking online, been searching for one. I just haven't been able to find one that I really thought fit my layout. So I decided to build my own. So in this quick video, you're going to see how I took some photographs of other covered bridges, used them as my inspiration to design my own, and how I built it. So if you're ready, let's get started. So these are the four uh, covered bridges that I've uh, researched and I'm going to be designing and building my covered bridge based off ideas I'm garnering from these four photographs. I started uh, making the framework for the covered bridge uh, based off my design and I'm using balsa wood and I love to use balsa wood because it's so forgiving. It's very flexible and it's easy to correct mistakes. Uh, and it's easy to work with. So uh, this is the uh, beginning of the framework for the bridge. Once I got the framework done, I have to start working on the roof. And I put down the solid sheets uh, for the roofing first. And then I wanted to give it a look of like shingles. So I just measured out some eighth inch uh, balsa wood strips. And I believe that I used about 40 of these strips uh, to make the shingles for the roof. And once I cut all the shingles and I had to glue them one by one onto the uh, rooftop itself. So that took a little bit of time, but I do like the way it turned out. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, had a pretty nice look to it. And obviously at this point still some touch-ups and everything to do, but at least I have the roof on. I also needed to create some extra uh, support beams, so I did that. Once I was done with the extra support beams on the framing, then I had to stain everything. And uh, I stained the underneath uh, black, as you can see. I used a, kind of a charcoal gray on the support beams and brown on the rest. Then when it came time to paint the roof, I just wanted to use a, a bright red color. And then in a minute, you'll see how I muted that red color to make it look a little more realistic and not quite so bright. What I'm doing right now is I'm making some signs for the bridge and I've just uh, created these signs on my computer, printed them out. And what I'll be doing is cutting them to size, putting them on uh, using this cardboard for some backing I'll just glue them on and then I'll take some of this 1 8 inch uh, balsa wood and use that as framing to kind of create a sign. And you'll see how I did that in just a minute on the bridge. So there's that. Another thing is I wanted to add some stonework to the bridge and I found a good product. Uh, this uh, company is called Cooch Enterprises and they uh, manufacture all different types of stone and brickwork and things like that for the scenery of model railroad layouts and uh, they, it comes in all different sizes all different scales so you just pick what works best for you what i chose was uh, this type of uh, stonework that i'm going to run along the base of the bridge you'll see that in a second uh, but a good product i recommend it and it's, it's worked well for me and it's really easy to work with so here's how the bridge has turned out so far. Here's our sign. I've got one on each end. So I thought that turned out okay. And then here's the stonework that I put in on each side. So here's what's next. I'm going to put in some foliage along the bottom by the stonework, by the base of the bridge. And I'm also thinking of putting in some vines along the support beams here to add a little uh, realism to it. I'll be washing down this roof. It's a little too bright for me. The more I look at it, the less I like it. So I'm going to add like a gray wash to the roof to make it look more weathered. And then in addition to that, most of these roofs on these cover, small covered bridges you'd see in the country have air vents at the top. So I'm going to put in two white things for air vents at the top of the bridge. 
So that's what's coming up next. You're going to see how it turned out in just a minute. And then also uh, we're going to install it on the layout and see how it looks with some of the trains running through it. So stand by. That's coming up next. So here you can see I've weathered the roof. Uh, so it has a softer color. I have the air vents put in on top. I put in some vines along the support beams. And now I'm adding in uh, some uh, ground cover along the stonework using some glue that's diluted with water. Uh, put that down first, and then I'm adding some fine burnt color ground cover. And then on top of that, another layer of glue, and then I'm putting in the yellow coarse ground cover on top of that. And it gives a nice textured look uh, and kind of a, what I think is a realistic uh, look to the ground cover that would be around the stone on the bridge. After everything is dried, this bridge is ready to be installed. And when we do put it on the layout, there's still going to be a lot of touch-up that has to be done on the landscaping around the bridge itself over the railroad tracks. But for the time being, we're done.